Hi guys. Okay, so today's video is going to be January favorites. Every month I sit there and say, I can't believe the month just flew by. For whatever reason, this month seriously felt like it was never going to end. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's the first month out of the year or what it is, but I absolutely like despise January for some reason. Um, where I live, it snows, and January is normally the worst month for snow. This month it was actually not that bad, and it's really actually pretty nice outside. It's actually a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny, and it's about 50 degrees or so, so that's pretty cool. But um, January was a great month for me as far as trying new products, and um, yeah, so let's just get into it. The first product I want to mention is one that I've seriously been using every single day. It is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer, and that is what it looks like. Um, I love this primer. I talked about it in my top 10 drugstore items under $10. Um, I just love it. I honestly cannot say enough good things about it. It is so comparable to so many high-end primers. Um, it's inexpensive. You could pick it up at the drugstore, and it minimizes your pores, gives you that soft focus appearance. I love this primer. I will definitely be repurchasing this. Like I said, I've worn it every single day this entire month. The next thing I want to mention is by Boots. It's the Expert Instant Matte, and that is what it looks like. It's just a little bottle. I picked this up at Target for, I think, maybe uh, $6. I just kind of shake it up and put it on my face, especially in the areas where I get oily. Um, I have very oily skin, like around my T-zone, and it honestly keeps my makeup on so much longer because it does keep my face pretty matte. It cuts down on the oil, makes my makeup last a whole lot longer. So I love this little stuff. It's just a small little bottle, but I mean, you don't need a lot and I don't know, it works great. The next item that I've been using this month a whole lot is the Garnier Skin Renew uh, Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. And mine is in medium deep and that's what it looks like. This is relatively a new item that's come out. I think um, we're starting to kind of jump on the bandwagon as far as BB creams go. I don't necessarily like this um, as a BB cream because I don't really think it does BB creams justice, but I do like this as a moisturizer um, prior to putting on my uh, primer. I do find that this does finish a little shimmery on me, which can kind of look greasy because um, I'm not someone that really likes a whole lot of shimmer. I always kind of tone it down with my setting powder, so it works just fine for me. Um, I definitely wouldn't classify this as like a true BB cream. I think it's just a little bit above a tinted moisturizer, but for what I'm using it for, it works just great for me. The next thing I want to talk about is the setting powder that I've been using. It's the Instant Age Rewind uh, Protector Finishing Powder, and that is what it looks like. I picked mine up in the color Natural Beige. Um, when I talked about this originally in my drugstore haul, I said that I wasn't really sure why I picked it up, um, that there wasn't really anything special about it, but I've absolutely been loving this. It's not the best setting powder that I've ever used, but um, for what I've been using it for, I absolutely love it. It does a great job of just setting my makeup, setting my foundation. Um, it blends everything so nicely. It's not too cakey. It's not too heavy. And the color that I have it in actually is just perfect for my skin tone. So I really have been liking this a lot. Next, I want to talk about what I've been using to actually apply my foundation. I've always either gone between my MAC stippling brush and a beauty blender, but I have come across the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. It is the F80. That is what it looks like. And mine's, you know, of course, dirty. I've been using it. Um, but it's just the Flat Top Kabuki. I Oh my word, love this brush so much. It's so dense, it's so soft. I honestly could not stop playing with it when I first got it. It is just the perfect brush for either, you know, stippling on your makeup or buffing it out. It gives you such a flawless appearance. It is unbelievable. It almost looks like I could take any one of my foundations and it almost looks like I am wearing the Makeup Forever HD foundation. That is the finish that it gives you with using this brush. Um, just absolutely amazing. I was always someone that kind of um, gravitated more towards MAC brushes. Um, I know they're expensive, so I never really bought them in a large quantity, but no more. I will forever, forever, forever purchase from Sigma and use their brushes because they are absolutely amazing. They, in my opinion, I think are a little bit more um, better quality than Max are. I haven't had any problems with shedding. Just absolutely amazing. And, you know, I will never put my foundation on with anything else besides this brush right here.
Next, I want to talk about the bronzer that I've been using. I have been using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and this is in the color Sunny, and that is what it looks like right there. I just love this bronzer. I've talked about it before in a previous video of mine. I think it is such a universally flattering bronzer. Um, I think it's pretty um, comparable to Benefit's Hula Bronzer. I just think it gives you such nice warmth. Um, it doesn't have that orangey kind of tone to it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's inexpensive. Um, I mean, you know, can't beat that. Next, for the month of January, I've been really loving um, these two blushes together. I've been pairing my blushes together a lot lately because I think that if you put more than one color on your cheeks, it gives you more of a natural looking appearance. And for that, I've been really loving, this is probably, um, good, if it's not already, going to be my favorite blush, like hands down ever. It's by Wet n Wild and it's in the color Heather Silk and that is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty um, molly rose you know, rose colored pink and it is just absolutely beautiful. It gives you such a nice like flush um, looking color to your cheeks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that is Heather Silk by Wet n Wild. And I have been pairing that with the e.l.f. blush and this is in the color Pink Passion. It's just a gorgeous bright like Barbie pink. Um, it is pretty pigmented but it's not overwhelming so don't let the color scare you. But I have been pairing those two together and I don't know if I mentioned the name or not and this is in Pink Passion. So absolutely love those two both of them are relatively inexpensive so i've also really been enjoying this month the maybelline master precise uh, by eye studio liner that is what it looks like i am a huge fan of the felt tip applicators when it comes to liquid eyeliner and i love this one in particular because um it is so 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 super skinny you can get such a like thin line i mean just like ridiculous like it just it just glides so nicely on the hand and I just love it um, it's just perfect for creating that you know wing on your outer corner um, love it the only thing that kind of throws me off about this is I'm used to like shaking my liners to get the product out and this doesn't shake it just kind of I guess I, I really don't know how it works to be honest with you so the only concern I have about this is it might dry out a little bit more quickly than some of my other liners but so far I am loving it um, it's pretty pigmented it's pretty black um, that's the only liquid eyeliner I really wear and it's staying power is phenomenal the next item I have been on the hunt for for a while um, those of you might know but some of you might not. Um, my favorite lip gloss, hands down, is Nars Turkish Delight. So I was on the hunt for the Bonnie and Belle Lip Lights in Strawberry Parfait. I heard it was a really good dupe um, for the Nars Turkish Delight, and I finally came across it. I actually picked it up at Walmart. That is what it looks like. It's a little darker than the Nars Turkish Delight, but it pretty much goes on the exact same on the lips. Um, plus, it smells and tastes amazing, and I absolutely can't stand the smell of Nars lip glosses and... Furthermore, they are like obnoxiously expensive. So this was a total bonus for me this month. I have three nail polishes I wanna mention, which is very weird for me because I normally don't have any nail polishes I mention. So the fact that I have three is a little bit weird, but the first one is this Wet n Wild Mega Last, and this is in the color on a trip. I picked this up um, kind of on a whim. It was really inexpensive. I think it was like $1.99. I love the color of it. It's this weird kind of purple in the bottle, but when you put it on your nails, it kind of changes to a little bit more of a blue tone, which is something I thought was really cool. I don't have anything like it in my collection, so I picked this up. Normally, polishes kind of last um, anywhere from like one to two days without chipping. If I get to two days, it's kind of like a miracle. This lasted for, I think, like four days before it started to chip, which I was so impressed with considering it was so inexpensive. So I have been loving this so much. And it's weird with nail polishes. I normally don't wear them two times in a row or even like in the same month for that matter. Um, but I've really been loving that color a lot. Next, I want to mention the Sally Hansen Gem Crush Nail Color. And this is in the color Big Money. I mentioned this in my latest drugstore haul. Um, I hadn't used it at the time. I just want to say it totally lives up to what it claims to do. Um, it does give you a whole lot of glitter and not a lot of applications, which is my big thing when it comes to glitter nail polish, um, aside from removing it when it's time to change your color. But I hate how you have to put on so many applications to get your desired payoff. You do not have to do that with this. Um, it is just absolutely amazing. Love this as well.
And then the last color is from OPI. It is the Nicki Minaj uh, collection, and this is in the color Pink Friday. It's just your standard pink. Um, I am just a huge pink lover, and um, I love how opaque this is. I'm not, I love the colors that OPI offers. I don't like their brush at all. Um, I only picked up this one from the collection because every other one was kind of one that I had seen before. I mean, the green, I can't think of what it's called, but the green in this collection um, looked very similar to the green that came out in the Shrek collection, which I think is called Who the Shrek Are You? Um, so I was kind of disappointed in the fact that I was expecting a little bit more um, from OPI considering it's Nicki Minaj, but um, I do absolutely love this color. I have been pairing the Big Money and the Pink Friday together, which just looks so beautiful because this kind of has a little bit of pinky um, shimmers in it um, along with the gold and champagne shimmers. So I actually have it on my nails right now. I don't know if you can tell, but it absolutely just looks gorgeous. I just love this um, combination. So I have a few more things and then I'm through. <laughs> As far as hair care goes, I have absolutely been loving It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I have a whole separate review on it, which is, I think, a few videos back of mine. So if you're interested, then you can go check that out. But I absolutely love what this has been doing for my hair. Um, I still love my, my macadamia natural oils, but I wanted to try something different. Um, I prefer the smell of the macadamia natural oils um, over this, but this still smells amazing. Um, you don't need a lot, just a little bit, um, and it just does wonders for your hair. I was actually in Alta not that long ago, and I did see that they were carrying this um, along with a bunch of other stuff in this line. Um, they also had new ones that came out that had keratin in them, so I think once I'm finished with this bottle, I will go back and try the one with the keratin in it. I've also, this month, recently picked up the Garnier Fructis Style Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. Um, this is what it looks like. It's in this green can. Um, love this hairspray. It is just so amazing. It, you know, holds my hair, which is, you know, obviously what I want it to do. Smells good when I use it to spray and tease. It doesn't leave that, like, white cast, like, almost like you have dandruff residue behind. So, really good. Love this hairspray. It gives a nice shine um, to your hair. So, really been loving this. I've also really been enjoying this number seven, uh, Beautifully Balanced Purifying Cleanser. This is what it looks like. I picked it up from Target. Um, I actually picked this up by accident. I was trying to go for another toner. I picked this up and realized when I got home that because of the pump top and the gel that it's actually a cleanser. But truth be told, I'm so happy that I picked it up on accident because what I've been using this for is in the morning when I'm rushing and I don't have time to necessarily wash my face, I just take a couple pumps of this on my hands, um, lather it into my face. It doesn't really lather, but spread it all over my face and then take a cotton round and just wipe it off. It gets rid of any of the oil that built up overnight, um, any of the products that, you know, creams or anything I've been using that I don't necessarily want on my face before I start my makeup. So um, I think this is a really cool product. I haven't come across anything quite like it, so I'm actually kind of happy that I picked it up by mistake. And the last item that I have on my list is one that I've been using all this month. I actually keep it in my purse because I don't keep um, bottles of perfume in my purse just because they're heavy. I don't want them to crack. I don't want them to um, get all over my things. So I have been absolutely loving the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. That is what it looks like. I'm not sure where my cap went. Um, I use this all the time and I seriously haven't even really, I mean it doesn't really look like I've used a lot. It smells so good. Um, I've used quite a few products from Victoria's Secrets. They all smell amazing. Um, I really like this one because it's like the perfect combination between uh, spicy and sweet. And I always carry body mists in my purse when I feel like I kind of need a little bit of a refresher. Um, you know, I just missed it on myself. And this really complements any perfume that I am wearing at the moment. So I really, really, really have been enjoying this. Um, Smells amazing, so that's really all I can say about it. So that was my January favorites. I'm sorry that I, if I talk too fast in it um, and if this video was super long. I realize that my videos kind of are on the longer side and I'm trying to cut them down a little bit, but I had so many products that I wanted to share with you. I seriously have been using these products every single day, um, so this month was really good for me in terms of products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye.